the trailer park boys hi guys how's it going my name is Ozzy Tash I absolutely loved watching the whole trailer park boys series it was so funny today we're going to watch an interview with all the cast members of the trailer park boys so let's just get into it and get ready for a laugh let's roll Right, sure, you've got your Green Gables farmhouse in Prince Edward Island. The thousands of fans of Little Ann flock there every year. But to me, the true cultural shrine on the East Coast, Sunnyvale Trailer Park, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, home to Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles, the Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> As for a place to live, here, I was going to use this for a cottage, man, but take it. He lives in his car. Three of the funniest dudes to ever hit your TV. And here's the thing about the Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, they were, were getting high, yeah, and they were getting drunk, and... There are plenty of dust-ups with the law, but they also proved a Canadian television program could and perhaps should push boundaries and yeah. still be wildly successful. Trailer Park Boys was even a launch pad for future Oscar nominee Ellen Page. Ooh. You're not as bad as my dad says. No, your dad's a bit of an idiot. <laughs> but after seven seasons on the air, two awesome movies, and a third on the way, the boys were looking to do something different, which is how this madness happened. Talk. What is this? The drunk and on drugs happy fun time hour. And if you're wondering how they got that past the censors and onto TV, well, wait till you see what they're planning next. Oh my gosh. You. Are ye funny or ain't ye? <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome the cast of the Trailer Park Boys Mike Smith, Rob Wells, Jamie Chubbley. Just look at them makes me laugh. They just make me so happy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. How are you? Just squeeze in there. This is uh, this is nice and tight, huh? Cozy. I like that. Spill water already. It's going, bro. It's the first time I've ever got to interview you guys where you weren't in character. Yeah. No, we're in character. You're in character. This is the first interview I've ever done with you where I can actually see you. I've never seen you before in this like this. I um I watched it today. The drunk and on drugs, the happy fun time. I laughed so. It's really great. I've never awesome. seen it. Thank you. But it's super ambitious. How many characters do you play? About 33, 33 between the three of us, 35, <laughs> something like that. It's almost like, and I mean this in the most, in the best possible way. It's unairable, in a way. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, we we tend to forget that you know when we're making stuff for TV, we kind of don't censor ourselves, <laughs> which is. It's good in a way. <laughs> well, it's one of the reasons we're starting our own internet channel, actually. Yeah, you right? it's just So we don't have to be censored it's anymore. Swearnet. You have news. Everybody will be we're able to yeah, it's, like, right? it's called Swearnet. It's going to be like a, a real network with news, weather, sports, everything. But everybody on every show swears. The, Dude. The news anchor swears. This is not true, is you it? Gotta do a, you got to do something on that. Dude, I keep swearing the way I do at 7 o'clock. That'll be my only job. <laughs> yeah. On Me Swearnet. too, mate. So thank you for starting it. <laughs> yeah, I just want to play a clip. Let's just play another clip and watch this. Yo, Dazzy D, man, where does Sammy Bruto live, man? We gotta score chips and powder before he freezes his brain on. Sammy won't return Oh, this is all of them. We're live on the air right now. Uh, you really should be using the private line. <laughs> Reminds me of a song I used to know called Look for the Big Iron Gate oh, of no. Gold Teeth Lane. <laughs> they absolutely have no filter at all, do they? I have to check this show out. I had no idea it existed. I watched all of the Trailer Park Boys, the movies, the animation series. It was absolutely hilarious. In Australia, it was one of the first big Netflix shows, man. That and the Tiger one. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, Trailer Park Boys, it hit Australia and it hit Australia big time. We absolutely loved it. My favorite character of all time would probably be Randy, man. I absolutely love Randy. Or, of course, Mr. Leahy, you know, may he rest in peace. But, yeah, this is cool. Let's keep on going. This is, okay, look, this is what, so first of all, black face, um, Asian face, um, <laughs> uh, selling drugs on the radio, radio station called C is it G -A -Y, C -G -A -Y, C -G -A -Y. All, all, all gay all the time, right? All gay all the time. Like, you're doing all the things <laughs> that people would say this country would never let you do. And you only get away with it because it's funny. But yes. still, when you're writing this, do you think it's going to make it in the cut? We, we do. We're, Maybe we're, we're delusional. Hoping, yeah. We're hoping. But when we're <laughs> writing stuff, you know, we just, if it's making us laugh, then we just sort of yeah. say, well, let's see what happens. Let's see if they'll put it on the air. There is this idea, though, that, that it had to be validated elsewhere for it to work, uh, Canadian work, ultimately. But your guys seems to be able to push through. Why do you think that is? 
when you strip away all the guns and drinking and craziness of Trailer Park Boys, yeah. if you strip that all drugs, kittens, and swearing. kittens, <laughs> strip away all the craziness, it, what what you're left with is a show about you know people that love each other and yeah. have each other's backs and they stick together no matter what. And I think that's the chord that you know unconsciously that's resonates so with people. That's so true about but Trailer Park Boys. It's also a show that uh, the kids are watching with their parents. Like back when I was younger, I was yeah. watching Little House on the Prairie with my my family. Now people are watching. Yeah, like you wouldn't believe boys. how many people we've met around the world. With our like, kids, we yes, thank we you did. For, you know, we're having trouble with our teenage kids, and now we've all come back together and we watch TV together. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. I watch it with my yeah, kids, man. Yeah, I think. I yeah. think. Well, that's some great stories like that, and also the troops. You know, when you hear that they're. They get to leave their world for 20 minutes and watch an episode while they're oh, over there. That's cool. it means we met some troops yeah. that were in uh, in Afghanistan, and they told us, you know, they come up, and it was really crazy because the guy was, you know, he was actually tearing up, and he's like, I just want to thank you guys because, you know, we're we're dug in in foxholes over there for hours, and the only thing that gets us through is, is we each oh. pick a character and we reenact scenes from Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, when you when you realize it's going to have an impact, what you are able to do is surprise people with how you cast it. This is a moment when Rita was on our show. Freaky. You're forcing Rita McNeil and her band to hire a stove at gunpoint. You could be a little bit nicer, you know. We could be a little bit faster. Stop being such a dick. So Here's your nice one here, dear. The language is a little bit different than some oh, of this. It's different, but yeah. nothing I haven't heard. And she was just so into it. <laughs> Rita's like throwing it out. Go, we, we got to get Rita McNeil in. Is that how it happened? Yeah. yeah, I think it was Mike, right? It was Mike. Mike, yeah. Mike Clattenburg, uh, I think his wife at the time worked with her, and he he brought her in, and it was just, I mean, wow. She was such a good sport. Though. It was so it's hard to swear around her, though. She's <laughs> taking a big <laughs> weed. The first time she hauled up that weed plant, this is a nice one, dear. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Just pause it for a second. Um. Wasn't Sebastian Bach from Skid Row, wasn't he on Trailer Park Boys? I'm pretty sure they had a little thing that they were trying to do. <laughs> and let me tell you, how cool was it to hear how the troops would speak about, you know, watching Trailer Park Boys, got them through the day, they enjoyed a laugh, no matter, you know, looking at where they were, they were at such a horrible place that, you know, that reenacted Trailer Park Boys and just made them just escape where they were. And yeah, mate, I'm not going to lie. We watched it with the kids. It was absolutely hilarious, man. So yeah, well done. Thanks a lot, guys. Your show was fantastic. We love cheeseburgers. We always will. <laughs> What's happening here in Halifax? Back here with Mike Smith, Rob Wells, and JP. Probably cast of the Trailer Park Boys. This is the wildest thing that bubbles place with Guns N' Roses. Yeah, that's that that's pretty weird, I gotta admit. That came about in a strange way, and I ended up going on tour. I was supposed to go uh, to a couple shows, and I ended up staying with them for almost three months. I went no to way. Australia and New Zealand and just, but Japan. Think, but think of what you just said. Oh, I know. Right? <laughs> How did you get to know Axl Rose to a point where he's like, just come on, man? Uh, it, it, we met him through Sebastian Bach. Yes. Yeah, Sebastian here we go. Was on season seven of Trailer Park Boys. Yes, he, he was. was. opening for Guns N' Roses, so we went and we met Axel and we just, I don't know, me and him just hit it off and <laughs> I ended up, you know, three three months. I played a lot of shows with them and played at Budokan in Japan. <gasps> Is there an area of comedy that you haven't mined yet that you want to go to? Yeah. <laughs> we're mining. We got the, the mining equipment set up at Swearnet right now. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be mining some stuff we've never done. There Lots before. of things coming down the pipe. Well, you know, Swear the renovation real. shows are very popular. Right. Uh, and I had a big incident with my house and it needed to be fixed. So we're doing a show about it called My House is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. But most people can relate. What, what other shows? Mike Holmes is I want to get Mike Holmes on. If he's watching this, I want Mike Holmes to come on my house. Give me some pointers. What else? We're going to do a, a show like, uh, you know, World's Wildest Police Videos, where yep. users send in. We're doing one called World's Biggest Heads. <laughs> where, you just, where you just, no you know, filters, you man. footage of your buddy being an idiot, you just send it to us. And... But it calls out the obvious, right? Which is that is on TV, no matter how real nonfiction TV tries to be, they don't actually speak the language that regular people exactly. speak. Exactly. Yeah. People swear. So. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's no amazing. Matter how real you try to make it, if you want it to be real real, you need to be able to talk the way we're talking right now, right. freely and swear, because people swear. Well, you're not really <laughs> You swearing, guys all right? swear, right? Right on, Bubbles. Yeah. 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 
You haven't been swearing much at all, though. We no, I didn't know I was allowed until yeah, just now. Yeah, yeah. just told us. Joking on drugs. Happy fun time hour. Mike Smith, Rob Wells, J.P. Trombley. The cast of the trailer park, boys. Everybody will be right back. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely hilarious. Swear net. Is that a real thing? I'm going to have to look it up. And, yeah, their new movies, their new show, definitely going to have to watch it. I just love Try the Park Boys. Like I said, in Australia, it was huge. It was just absolutely incredible. Um, Randy, I love him. I know he, he does tours of the Caravan Park or something. I loved all the stuff he'd do for cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> him and Mr. Leahy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I absolutely love this interview so much. It was absolutely hilarious. That was the video for today. If you enjoyed it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from that under. Take care. Bye.